checks out by now, but Metro Detroit is quickly becoming a full blown foodie city. There's so much to choose from out there. You got the food trucks from sushi to your neighborhood bar and grill, all that stuff. But do you know what's really going down where you wine and dine? Well, our Andrea Isom has your latest restaurant report card. There are a lot of restaurants in Metro Detroit, my friends, and Oakland County racks up quite a few on its own. So I went through the list of health inspection reports and found some good and some downright grody. So it's that time. Should you chow down or put that fork down? So we rolled on over to Red Olive in Auburn Hills. And I gotta tell you, or better yet show you, the place was packed. But so was the list of priority violations, according to the Oakland County Restaurant Inspection Report. Expired cooked beef and cooler. Cheese and eggs open for an unknown amount of time. Raw chicken next to cooked rice. Raw bacon way too close to raw chicken in the cooler. Cooked ham stored below raw ground beef and raw fish in cooler. Now that's a crazy amount of cross-contamination. And... The chicken was uh, next to the eggs. Owner manager Philip Casey did not crack. He owned up to the issues like the cooler. This cooler, it's fixed. The food storage situation is too. And now we put the chicken over there the way they want it. If they get sick, I lose the business. Nobody will come here and eat. No, you know, no the we name. don't want that. We want you yeah. to stick around here. Right. Nice job. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you. Who likes sushi? I sure do. And that's their specialty here at Sushi Oharu in Novi. Sushi may come raw, but according to health department standards, the next raw combo is a no-no. One of the things on the list was raw beef next to raw chicken in the bag. Has that been cleared up? I don't know. I have just started working first day here. Oh, it's your first day? Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> She's a nice lady, but tempura batter next to raw animal products? isn't and most folks probably are not too fond of soiled food debris on their knives. The Oakland County Health Department works hard to spot problems like this and solve them with haste. And that we are behind the scenes working with these facilities to ensure the safety of the public. That is really the most important and that is our number one priority when we're out in those restaurants. Well, back to this one. So I left my cell and she called back. According to her, the problems have been put to bed. Welcome to the Pita Post. This food truck parking on this day in Ferndale gets an A on the restaurant report card. I appreciate it. We try our best all the time. The Pita Post passed its July inspection with flying colors, zero violations. Awesome, great. Well, that makes me even more excited to have my dinner then. Wow. Keep it clean, keep it fresh. Food trucks have been a favorite over the last few years. This guy is the editor in chief of Mobile Cuisine. Most of the trucks are actually inspected for each and every event that they actually attend. So we've heard of trucks that are inspected 30 to 40 times a year. We will enjoy it, everyone will enjoy it. Clearly, I fully enjoyed the falafel. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There you have it. If you want to learn more about how Oakland County is inspecting the restaurants you eat at, go to WXYZ.com. I'm Andre Isom, 7 Action News. Oh, well, alrighty then. A snack. Because <laughs> you're hungry now. I'm hungry huh? now. I, guess I love the way we end on the good one. They have zero violations. Good place you gotta, to go. You got to keep a note of them, right? That is stuff. There you go.